Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Tony with Tony's Vapes, and I'm sure you guys thought I was dead, but I'm not. I'm still around here. I'm still vaping, still not smoking. And as you can see, yeah, the cotton has seen better days. We just mixed up a brand new batch of 350 milliliters of juice, and I figured why not? Let's go ahead and re-wick this. I've had some people wondering about this. This is the Smock TF RTA, and this one is the G4. Now, my wife's using the G2, and she will not give it back to me. Damn it. So, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to show you guys how to wick this G4, or how I wick this G4. And, yeah, hopefully somebody can learn something. They do still sell these tanks. I love these tanks. They don't leak a lot. As you can see down here, it does leak a little bit. But that's more of the condensate that gets in here. And it just it kind of falls, and, yeah, it, it's just what happens with vaping. Without further ado, let's go ahead, dive in, get started. You're going to need a paper towel to lay all your stuff on. You're going to need a paper towel to kind of clean stuff up with. Obviously, you're going to need your cotton. You're going to need some tweezers that I can't seem to find right now. You're going to need some scissors that I can't find right now. Uh, and you're going to need a sink with some cold running water. You definitely want cold to shock the stuff that is on those coils. And yeah, let's get started. First things first, we got to pull this thing off. We need to do this in a hurry, man. I haven't had a vape in like an hour. We're going to wipe this bottom off. Like I say, it does leak just a little bit. But as you can see, that's not all that bad. And it could be the way I wick it too. So there is that. Then we're going to go ahead and pull it apart. Now this does have variable juice control, as you can see right there. If you... If you go to unscrew it, it's going to close it. That's whenever I open it up and fill it up. But if you keep spinning it, okay, well, usually it doesn't come apart like that, but that's how it came apart this time. After unscrewing this little guy, that's what you got. Oh my God, that's really bad. I didn't think it was quite that bad. All right, let's head on into the bathroom and let's uh, let's get this thing rinsed off. All right, guys. So here we are in the bathroom, and yeah, we just first thing we got to do is we just got to kind of rinse all this stuff off, and it doesn't have to be perfect. We're putting the exact same juice back in it. I just want to get the majority of like that crap. I want to get off, and like I say, you know, hot water. Give it a good rinse, and that should be just fine. Alright, on your coil head, that is going to, yeah, <laughs> this coil head is a little bit worse than what I thought it was. Alright, so let's go ahead, pull this cotton out, and this is, uh, <laughs> this is bad. Usually I don't let it get quite this bad. Uh, yeah, I want to say that was pretty bad. It did not have a burnt flavor. This is just what this flavoring does. It gets really black. Basically, whenever this thing stops popping when you're taking draws, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's time to rebuild it. So, as you can see, that one's pretty much the same way, and that color is all the way through. Now, I know the lighting's not the best in here, but you can see just how caked and gummed up those coils are. In fact, got a little piece of cotton still right there but those coils are bad <laughs> really bad guys give it another quick rinse and now this part is going to be kind of controversial some people say don't do it some people say it doesn't matter i'm just one of those i'm going to take the chance because well i don't want to put a mechanical mod on this and the controversial part is using an electronic mod <laughs> to do this part some people say no some people say it doesn't matter I'm just one of those, hey, let's just get it clean. This is mine. I take a chance with it. I know what the ramifications can be. As you can see, we are at 100%, and I do not have key lock on, which I normally do. We're going to go ahead and turn that up. Eh, 105 seems good. So what you want to do, 
I want to turn cold water on. If you have an aerator on your faucet, you want to get it to where that's a nice solid stream. Then we're just going to hit it and we're going to watch them coils. Remember, we've already rinsed this off. As you can see, a lot of smoke. See how that thing's heating up right there? Look at that. Yeah, you can see all them chunky parts. Now, we're just going to take this, glow it red hot right underneath that water. See all that crap? Look at that. Falls right off. We're going to do it again. Remember, these are fresh batteries. Alright, so that top one there was the last one to light up. I can see a little bit of junk in that. So now what we're going to do, we're going to heat this sucker back up. And I'm going to look in there and I'm going to try to find those pieces. Alright, I had to kind of look at that off camera and it kind of buried itself in the back. See if we can't get it rinsed out of there. There it goes. And there's another big piece right there. Alright, let's take a look at it now and see how evenly it fires up. That fires up pretty evenly. That left one kind of little slow, but not too bad. Alright, one final rinse. Nothing came off. That right there, guys, is how you clean your coils. Alright guys, so now that we're back here, we got a little bit better light. We can kind of take a look at those coils. Those things, they were completely gummed up. You can see that coil's kind of bent a little bit. So we're going to have to address that. Every now and then when you pull that cotton out, the coil will kind of get bent just a hair. So every now and then you just got to kind of manipulate it a little bit. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. See, that one's kind of pushed over too. The key here is on this particular coil, you don't want these coils touching. You'll get a hot spot in them. That one's kind of pushed over. I wonder why all these are pushed over. Yeah, that's good enough. So, we got to get that water off of there. Just hit your fire button for a second. And that's all it takes. All the coils, nice and dry. Now, it's time to wick it. All right, guys, so what I use, I just use organic cotton pads. And basically what you want to do is look at the size of your hole, match it up to the size of that right there. You don't want it too big. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to pack it down in them holes. The way I do it, I look at the width of my scissors and I give it just a hair bit more. And that right there is pretty much perfect. Then we just do that one more time because we are going to cut these in half. And there we go. So now, just grab both of them. Find the approximate center of them, and I know that's not really centered. It needs to go that way a little bit, but yeah, it'll be fine. Now on that cut in, usually it's going to be a little bit damaged. What I'll do is just kind of twist that piece around. And this is the piece that we're going to cut off. All right, got our mod. Go ahead and stick our cotton in there, and then I like to take my tweezers. I'm having to do this on a screen, so this is really hard. I'll just kind of pull that through just a hair. Once I can get a hold of it with my finger, that'll allow me to pull it through again. And it got a little tight and it kind of bent me out of whack. But I do think that's going to be just fine. Pull a little bit more on this side than this side. And on this first one, we want to wrap both of these straight up just like that. And what that's going to do is this going to keep uh, these pieces of cotton out of the way when we pull this one through. Same thing on that one, but on this one, we've only got to bring up that right piece. And do it two more times.
See how it's just barely moving that coil? That's pretty much exactly what you want. And the last one. Coil's just barely moving. And there we go. Now we want to pull down these little tags. Let's put that guy up. We want to pull down these guys, and we're going to want to cut them off. Let me get that out of the way. And the reason we're cutting these off is because this is what we use to roll in our fingers and the oil that's in our fingers, even though we just we were just underwater and cleaned our hands you don't really want to be vaping the oils in your fingers so i always cut that off it just it seems to break the cotton in way faster all right so now that that's done now we just need to even up this cotton that one looks decent pull that piece down and pull that one over that looks good same thing on this one that looks good Pull that guy down and pull him over. Not that much. <laughs> so now you just kind of you want to kind of bunch these up to where they're kind of even without pulling all of that over like I just did. That's very bad. And now comes the hard part where we get to start tucking all of this. So what I do, I just grab it with the tweezers right there at the end, come up, and I just kind of tuck down, grab the end of it, tuck it down, and then just kind of, you don't want to force it in there. If it's too tight, I won't wick at all. Then I'll take one of the little points. These are very pointy uh, tweezers too, by the way. And just kind of work it down in there, kind of look behind it, see how that's doing. And then, Grab a hold of this part and pull it down. Don't worry about how tight it is up here just yet. And then just rinse and repeat. What I'm doing here, I'm just kind of fluffing up that end. Then we're going to kind of grab up here, pull it, make sure that's nice and fluffy. Grab up here, pull it, make sure it's fluffy. We didn't have to trim down here. Usually I have to trim this, but I'm using a different thing of uh, cotton right there. And I'm liking it. It's a little bit, not as long as the stuff I was using. So I'm not having to waste as much. Make sure it's nice and fluffy. We're not talking about Gabriel here. And there we go. Boy, it looks like crap up close on a camera with all that stuff around. I've always said watching other people's videos that all that cotton around there just drives me nuts. 
now that I look at it really close with my blind eyes on a big screen. Uh, yeah, mine look pretty much the same, if not worse. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to come in here and I'm still working that cotton. I want to make sure it's nice and flush. We just want to put it here on the bottom. Now this is that juice that we just made. I just put it in this little 30 mil bottle because it's easier. We want to make sure all that cotton is nice and flush so that whenever we screw that top on, it doesn't screw it up. All right, go through, saturate it. Those bottoms look good. Here, I usually get too much. It's fine. But the key here is you just want it good and saturated, like I say. As you can see right there, it uh, <laughs> I'm going to be sucking some juice for the first few drags. But this is, I'm going to pull that away from the camera a little bit. It says still 105 watts, but I don't have a preheat on this. I'm not doing any kind of temperature control. This is just straight 105 watts, so it takes a little bit for those coils to heat up. As you can see, it opened up, well, mostly opened up that down there. And it'll be fine. So now, we get to put this guy back together. That goes on there. This goes on here. I'm going to see if I can't screw this down a little bit better. If you want, you can use a little bit of juice, kind of lube up these O-rings. I did that last time and I ended up unscrewing it from there instead of down here so I'm not going to do that this time that's all there is to putting that together by the way uh, if we open that up as you can see got the gasket in there you may notice that that's kind of banged up right there and there's a gap don't worry about that gap this thing this poor caps had a hard life <laughs> so go ahead screw this bad boy on as you can see, our juice wells are open. That looks way different from the way it did, but we want those closed. So now we're gonna pop the top open. Let me find out where the top is. Stick our juice in there and we're going to fill her up. Now, unlike everybody else, that they'll be like, uh, okay, that's good. Uh, well, that's not good for me. By God, when I fill mine up, I fill mine up and know there is none leaking out of the top. So now we'll hold it just like this. We'll go ahead, open it up, and as you can see, it is sucking in air, filling up all them voids, and it is ready to vape. So let's give her a try, why don't we? That's uh, not too shabby. Brand new wicks, clean coils with fresh juice. It just doesn't really get better than that. So guys, I want to thank everyone for watching. If you're not subscribed, guys, click that subscribe button. Click the bell so that you get notifications when I upload new videos. Don't forget, hit that like button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, post them in the comment section below. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.